So today I wanted to talk about how we can get really, really great content created in an efficient, fast way with a few simple tools and be able to get different types of content, whether it's video or photography, and just learning how to work and do that in a fast workflow. Um, so let's get into it. Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about in this content hungry situation we're all in and to keep us working, you know, we're getting all these tools and we really have to utilize the time, the space and all the things that go along with that. So if, a, you know, if you're going to be doing a work for a product or a brand, you got to be able to offer those services. You also have to create a whole bunch of options for that brand if you're doing things for social or even short kind of uh, spots, whether it's 15 seconds, even if it's on air, you've got to learn to kind of work quick and be super dynamic. Um, so generally, the tools I'm using is I'm going to use, you know, one of these Sony cameras for photography or for video, and then use my Urso or the Blackmagic uh, 6K uh, to shoot any of the production stuff. So. You know, that being said, let's get into it and let's talk about things that are going to help you get where you need to go. Part of any situation that you're shooting for, you're going to have to utilize some sort of art direction. Whether you do it in a studio or you go to a location, you want to scout that location, figure out the things that you may want to bring, art direct, prop, whatever it is to create a scene that you're trying, you're trying to create. Uh, depending on the product and the story you want to tell, there's so many different ways to do it. You know, whether you're using a wood, you know, background or it's a little bit more organic or if it's in a bathroom or whatever that is, you want to think about those things ahead of time. Any production you have going on, whether it's big or small, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to do that prep work. Uh, part of the prep work is really figuring out uh, with the client and prior to, to kind of pitching to the client is a concept, right? You can do that simply by sketching something out, um, looking at their product line, looking at their brand guides, just seeing other directions they've had and how they want to promote that specific product. Then you can get an idea of you know what the competitors are doing and maybe just get an idea of creatively what you want to do with that video project or the photos or whatever it is that you're about uh, to take on. So. I always sketch stuff out um, and then put it in a formal kind of design, present a deck, just to give them a concept of what that may look like and get their sign off on it. Now, beyond that point there, now you have to really get the idea of, you know, making it happen. So you're gonna need props, you're gonna need lights, you're gonna need all the basic stuff that we're generally using uh, across the board but you know there's a few things that are going to be needed here so you typically on a bigger production there's an art department um, and you can discuss the concept with them and they can come up with ideas as well and help you kind of gather the props prepare it you can talk to them and, and literally direct you know how you want that shoot to go down as far as lighting and anything else but you know keep in mind if you're just kind of a smaller uh, production or it's just you uh, then again, you're going to be the art department and that's going to need some art direction. Uh, for me, the basics of art directions is just layering, um, you know, the environment, right? Putting the product or whatever it is that you're shooting in a specific in environment to connect to the story that you're trying to tell. Um, you know, again, whether it's, you know, on a, in a bathroom setting or if it's in a house setting or whatever that situation may be, or it might be outdoors, you have to figure out what props you may want to bring in just to kind of layer uh, the scene or sometimes you just do it on a clean you know white background or gray background or whatever it is but for this particular case um, using backdrops and really layering so the concept here was basically create a bathroom scene uh, and give enough content here uh, just to sell across the fact that this particular product's obviously in a bathroom setting uh, with some window light, really natural looking, uh, less studio, more, more of a natural look. 
Now usually when I create um, these concepts, I'm also thinking about static shots, maybe some motion assets, and obviously video as well. All those play, uh, play really well for, for a short campaign. Um, so, you know, again, this will give you the opportunity to be able to, you know, charge the client specifically for different work. Now, if you're a photographer and, you know, you, you can produce video content as well, that's always a plus. If not, you know, and you have someone that you know or have used in the past or even, you know, seen on Instagram or just through connections, it's always good to have uh, that. But I think in the beginning, you want to kind of start understanding um, you know the basics and you know and just to be able to put that together but the thought process is always uh, both those pieces of content or at least a few pieces of content like I said um, the video uh, photography um, and then some motion assets that sometimes I create in After Effects as well uh, but just just to give you an idea of the thought process there um, to produce this content so thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I'm always learning as I go, so really appreciate you watching. Please follow, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.